We are the Gujarat Technological University. Since its inception over a decade ago, GTU has been empowering young and curating minds to realize their true potential. Over 4 lakh inspired students are enrolled with one of the premier academic universities in India. With more than 450 affiliated colleges in its fold operating across 5 zones of the state, GTU, the International Innovative University, your place to move forward. Hello my dear friends and students, myself Kinjal Patel, working as assistant professor in civil engineering department from Mahatma Gandhi Institute of Technical Education and Research Center, Nausari. Today I am going to explain classification of urban roads. So based on their importance, the urban roads are classified as first is arterial road, second sub-arterial road, third is local road and last one is other road. Now we will discuss first is arterial road. The arterial roads connect town to a state highway or a national highway. They pass through a city limit and carry a large amount of a traffic from one part to the other part of the town and usually along the expressway serving as a principal network of a traffic flow. They join central business district means CBD with outside residential area. The width of this road is generally kept about 25 to 30 meter. Now second is sub arterial road. The sub-arterial roads are also known as a major road or secondary road. They are contained within city limit and they connect important town center. They link between local road and arterial roads. The roads serve slow moving traffic over short distance. So the intersection on this road are provided with suitable traffic signal. The design speed is 60 km per hour and land width is a 30 to 40 meter are provided. Now next is a local road. The local road are provided for the approach to the building, office, school, college and shop etc. The local road are connect to sub arterial road. Local road doesn't carry large volume of a traffic and unrestricted parking and pedestrian are allowed. They are also known as a minor road. Last one is the other road. This may be include first is bypass road, second ring road, third expressway and last is a freeway. Now we will discuss bypass road. So basically discuss bypass road is just a road that is a built specifically to go around a town or city through traffic flow without interference from local traffic so directly reduce congestion in the built up area and to improve road safety. Now second ring road. A ring road is a road or series of connected road encircling a town's city or country. The main purpose of a ring road is reducing traffic volume in the urban center. Now next third is the expressway. The expressway means they connect main market and important places. Expressway for speedy and heavy traffic and a pedestrian are not allowed. Last one is a freeway. It is also known as a express highway that is designed exclusively for high speed vehicle traffic. Next, we will discuss urban road system. The urban road system in the city planning are five type of urban road system. First one is a rectangular or a grid iron street system. Second, concentrate and radio street system. Third is a rectangular combined with diagonal street system. Fourth is rectangular combined with radio street system. And Last one is a organic street system. 
नाउ वी विल डिस्कस फर्स्ट रेक्टेंगुलर और ग्रीट आयन स्ट्रीट सिस्टम वी कैन सी द फिगर ऑफ अ रेक्टेंगुलर और अ ग्रीट आयन स्ट्रीट सिस्टम द सिस्टम इज अ सुटेबल फॉर अ फेरली प्लेन कंट्री विदाउट एनी मेजर नेचुरल फीचर्स द स्ट्रीट क्रॉस इच अदर एट राइट एंगल द विथ ऑफ स्ट्रीट्स इज नॉर्मली इक्वल एग्जाम्पल ऑफ जयपुर गांधीनगर एंड चंडीगढ़ आर रेक्टेंगुलर और ग्रीड आयन स्ट्रीट सिस्टम द मेजर एडवांटेजेस ऑफ दिस टाइप ऑफ सिस्टम आर फर्स्ट इज दिस सिस्टम इज अ कन्वीनियंट टू ट्रैफिक सेकेंड स्पीडी एंड फ्री ट्रैफिक कैन बी मेंटेन थर्ड देर इज नो वेस्टेज ऑफ अ लैंड एज अ नो इरेग्युलर पोर्शन आर लेफ्ट आउट and last this system is the most suitable for building construction as a building are constructed in a rectangular block now second concentric and radial street system this is the figure of concentric and radial street system and we can see the figure in circular or a ring roads are connected to radial road thus forming a network like spiders web in this system the town grows in the form of concentric ring around the hub the radial road provide direct access to the town and are and mark for fast moving traffic the circular road helps to distribute the local traffic to the radial road this system found to be more useful for the economic expansion of the town if the town has a central features like market public building etc the disadvantage of this type of system is first it is not economical for construction of house because the system is a concentric and a radial street system second as the plot are trapezoidal in shape a lot of space is a wastage now third is a rectangular combined with diagonal street system you can see the figure of a rectangular combined with diagonal street system this is the modified form of a rectangular street system and you can see the figure along along with rectangular street diagonal street are also provided usa in washington city in the example of this type of system the major the advantages of this type of system are first it provide direct access from distant part of the town to the center second at the junction of a diagonals a park garden may be set to enhance the aesthetic of the town the main disadvantage of this type of system is the increase in dangerous intersection at the junction of a diagonal street and a rectangular street now next rectangular combined with radial street system this is the figure of a rectangular combined with radial street system you can see the figure in left side portion indicated as a rectangular street system and right side portion indicated as a radial street system so combine rectangular with radial street system this system gives advantages of both rectangular road and radial road new delhi is the example of this type of system now last one is organic street system the name organic is applied because the plain resemble to a microscope slide presenting the cell structure of animal or vegetable tissues the street system is entirely unplanned with all irregularities the street are curved sometime discontinuous with variable width france is an example of this type of system thank you